Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to download uh, MBVI image collection. Uh, so we'll be using uh, the Earth Engine uh, uh, API cloud environment uh, to download image collections. So if you don't have Earth Engine, uh, you can go to earthengine.google.com and sign up for an account. Uh, once you have that, um, you can go to the data catalog and um, search for Sentinel data here. Uh, so Sentinel is a satellite sensor by the European Satellite Agency, ASA, um, for uh, Earth observation monitoring. So uh, if, um, for example, if you want to download not a single image, but uh, multiple images, um, for example, here you have Sentinel image uh, collection or data time series um, data starting from 2015 June until the current date, which is 2020 to uh, December. So you can download all of this image uh, or, um, you know, some part of the image, or for example, you can choose um, a temporal filter, six months, one year or two year. Uh, it's really up to you. And Using the code uh, that I'll be showing you in this tutorial, you can download any um, um, any any uh, you know part of this image uh, collection. So uh, and so let's go to the code. So we'll be using um, Collab and um, and the Python API of the Earth Engine um, uh, platform. So Earth Engine has a JavaScript API and then a Python API. So in this case, we'll be using a Python API uh, using Google Colab. So Google Colab is um, more like a Jupyter notebook uh, um, uh, hosted on the cloud. You don't have to install uh, all of this package, uh, rather import them. So once you have your Earth Engine account, uh, excuse me, um, you can import uh, EE, import Earth Engine, and authenticate and initialize. Um, since I've already done um, that, I'll just simply import and initialize Earth Engine. But in your case, you need to uh, authenticate that. Um, and after you have authenticated, you can choose any location. Uh, for example, here, um, you can choose, uh, you know, this um, uh, location. You can provide a lot long information. Um, and you can use this or you can uh, provide a different location if you want to download data for a different location. And we can also um, invert, um, we can also invert this coordinate information so that uh, we'll be using it uh, to map um, on a folium um, a package later. Uh, I'll be showing you that. And so, we have to um, find the image collection ID. Uh, if you go to the, the image collection in Earth Engine, you can find the image collection ID here. You just simply copy and paste that here. Okay. So you don't have to memorize that image collection ID. So every image collection on Earth Engine has a unique ID. So that's how you find the ID. And here um, we will be creating a visualization parameter a minimum, maximum, and the different bands to generate a true color composite um, to um, visualize the satellite um, uh, bands, the multispectral bands of the Sentinel uh, data. And because there's cloud contamination in the image, we'll apply, uh, we'll write this function called mask to clouds to mask um, cloud contaminated pixels. All right. And the next chunk of the, the script is actually to filter, um, you know, the timestamp. You can choose a uh, one year, two year, or six months. So in this case, we'll be filtering or you downloading only um, data from January to June, uh, May of uh, 2020. And we also uh, be uh, filtering cloud contamination um, less than 30%. And another filter is geometry, like the location, um, a point, a point location where we want, uh, the image, um, uh, to be downloaded, right? 
And the last thing in this function is we are applying, we, we're passing this um, function here and mapping, mapping it over the image collection. That means for every image, we'll apply this cloud masking uh, function. That way the result will be a cloud free or a cloud masked image. And the next thing is to actually calculate NDVI. So we're downloading NDVI image collection, right? So um, we we'll write a function, this add NDVI, you pass an image and then um, select band five and four, which is the uh, near infrared and red band. And based on a normalized difference, Earth's engine built-in function, we can calculate uh, NDVI and then um, return it or just add it into our image collection, okay? So this is the function and then we uh, pass our filtered image or image collection here to this NDVI function. In effect, um, NDVI image will be added to the image collection. For every image, we'll have an NDVI, okay? So the next thing is a Folium package. So we'll import Folium to do some visualization here and we'll create a map function based on the Folium uh, library. And then using map add layer, we'll just visualize uh, the median uh, image we have created here. Where is that? Over here, okay? So we've calculated the median image over that five months period, right? Um, you know, for each pixel within the image collection, calculate the median value. And then we can visualize that um, satellite data just for, um, you know, for um, just a quick, a a um, you know, visualization uh, of how the data looks like and, you know, the impact of cloud and, and whatnot. So here you go. So this is um, the based on the location that we have chosen. Um, that's the image, uh, the Sentinel image, um, a band combination uh, visualizations that we have created earlier, right? Um, so, and where's that? Oh, we have created a visualization here, right? So that's what, what it is. So we're mapping band four, uh, three, and two. So this is just a true color composite of the satellite image. Okay, the last important part is actually to download all of the images in the image collection, in the in the filtered image collection, right? So we convert the image collection to aggregate array and based on the index, a uh, system index, which is the ID for each image, has, each image has a unique ID. So we'll pull that and actually we'll execute that. And we have about 11 images in that image collection. So our plan is to download all of these images um, um, by automating uh, or just using this Earth Engine batch export function here. So this function will loop into um, through each image and grab the image ID here and um, we'll grab the image ID and then export them. So export them uh, to a folder uh, here, example folder, okay? And to, um, to, to name the, the image that's gonna be downloaded, it will, uh, it will um, append the image ID um, and also um, it will pull the coordinate information from the image itself. And then if we execute this, it will start. Uh, first, let's just look at that folder here, example folder, which is empty, right? So when we execute this, it will start downloading. And the good thing is that we can also print each task or each image as it's downloading, right? So we can monitor that. It's pretty handy. And we don't have image yet, but hopefully it will start soon. We can refresh that to make sure that it's starting. There's a little bit of a delay, so you have to wait uh, just a few, um, about like 30 seconds or half a minute. 
uh, for all these two things. So it's it's processed, and let's um, check refresh again. Um, All right, just a few seconds more. And so by now, uh, we have already downloaded um, five months worth of data, Sentinel image or image collection in uh, Earth Engine terminal, which, right? And hopefully we have something excellent here. So we have the first image here. Uh, so all the 11 images or the, or the entire image collection based on our temporal filter, which is January 2020 to May 2020, right? About 11 Sentinel images. Uh, so since we have already, um, you know, at least the first image, uh, the others are coming here, we can download this and visualize it in QGIS, whether we have um, QGIS. Let's open a QGIS desktop environment here. There is the second um, image. It's, um, there's a slight delay, but oh, excellent here. One, two, three, four, five. We have about um, uh, six image image to be downloaded yet, but so we have downloaded uh, you know the image and let's open a QGIS and um, try to visualize. Um, you know, the NDVI uh, raw image from Sentinel satellite. And so that's how you um, um, run a batch export or a batch import, or you can say download um, um, image collection, in this case, a Sentinel data um, using a Python API and uh, Collab. Uh, let's just see if QGIS is already loading to visualize um, this NDVI image here. While QGIS is loading, so I'll, uh, I'll leave a copy of the 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 script here uh, um, you know down below here and you can access uh, the script and uh, run it for any any place that you're interested to download or batch export um, image collection or in this case uh, uh, sentinel based um, NDVI Okay, so let's uh, import, uh, let's grab the uh, downloaded data here. So we can say, just grab it into QGIS. That's pretty cool. So we already have um, the NDVI uh, data here. And I'll change the visualization here to pseudo. And I'll click OK here. So we have NDVI um, data uh, downloaded. Uh, we actually can, you know, load all of those, um, you know, data sets. But uh, this is just that to show you how you can do a batch um, download or uh, export um, of an image collection. In this case, uh, Sentinel satellite data uh, NDVI.